Taco Bueno is disrespectful. How the hell you have Bueno in the name, which means good in Spanish? I'm Hispanic. Don't come to me. And the tacos are nasty as dirt. It is Vlogmas! channel it is your girl essence of shay <laughs> i'm in the bathroom huns and it's another episode of locks and lituation aka tiger lily chats y'all still haven't told me what um name y'all prefer so we're gonna just keep saying both until y'all figure y'all life's out like what y'all doing why y'all play all day like let's get it together Anyways, before we get into this video, I have a sale on my website. Yes, I had to take it down because um, I was moving and I didn't have any of my stuff because you guys know I make everything all organic, all natural. I make it myself. Um, so right now I have a sale going on. It's a Black Friday sale. You use the code LOCKS OUR LIFE and you get 20% off of anything that's on the website. Yeah? Yeah. So make sure you go there and you support your girl. Like, stop playing these games. Oh, and do you guys like my hairstyle? <laughs> I did it yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I think I already recorded a hairstyle like this on my channel. So, um, I'll either put it up here in the description box or stop being lazy, fam. Go, go check it out, eh? Where am I looking? I'm starving. Um, yeah. Anyways. So, my last video didn't get that much views which is fine because i know if it has nothing to do with hair y'all won't really be checking for it but i mean there's but so much you can talk about as far as hair goes when there's a bunch of youtube channels doing the same thing so um i do other things as well hopefully you guys could get on the bandwagon because when vlogmas starts it ain't gonna be hair videos every day, girl. So cut it out. Um, but my last video, you guys went in on Emily. You guys said that Emily was desperate. You guys said that um, Emily has low self esteem. That Stefan has made his choice. <laughs> Boy, so I spoke with the characters involved, and Stefan was mad. He was like, he don't like the fact that they saying that about Emily and that people be going to the extremes. And I'm like, but son, you gotta kind of take responsibility, fam, bam, like you. <laughs> You can't just say that's everybody's everybody's bugging. Everybody cannot be bugging. Hello. Um, yeah. So he basically said that's he he understands why people would think that way, but that's not the case at all. Um <laughs> my coworker was like, is Emily like the side piece? And he was like, nah, Emily is the piece. Anyways, I'm glad you guys, in the ones who watched it, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Because I want to do more videos like that. That was entertaining. I struggle a little bit mention, remembering them damn names, though. That shit was annoying. But you ain't want to, like, tell people business. You feel me? You feel me, dogs? Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about letting go. The year 
is ending rather quickly and the things that we held on to for all this time sis is it worth it no it's not let it go and i know a lot of y'all gonna say oh shay it's easier said than done trust me she knows because i am the queen of holding on to stuff like holding on to people like when they just don't need to be in my space anymore it's almost like they have to do something reckless for me to be like all right you showing your true colors right now and one thing is that i ain't got time for it I did at one point, but now I ain't got time. You taking advantage now. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing my makeup just because. Remember I told y'all in that self love video, you gotta do things to make you happy. You're not doing it for anybody else. And sometimes putting on makeup makes me happy. And you guys know I don't OD with the makeup so it's always a natural look for me but yeah um back to the topic at hand so what makes people hold on is it a security blanket is it not wanting to be by yourself is it that you just believe in giving people the utmost chances until until when when does the chances finish because how many chances can you give someone i believe in chances but i also believe um there's a limit and it goes even it's even harder i feel like for relationships because and i mean like romantic relationships because people have a tendency to like their boyfriend girlfriend husband or wife they could drop them like a sack not i mean they cannot drop them like a sack of potatoes it'll take them a while before even though they know this person no longer serves a purpose in their life um they can hold on to that um relationship for a very long time but when it comes to friendships, yo, niggas drop friends like, shh, like it's nothing. And friendships are a relationship, people. You have to work at them. Like, it'll be dope if your friend, the friendship that you guys have created and all this stuff, it's easy and you guys have no problems with anything. But it's not, fam it's not and the people who are in your life and are saying that they don't they don't want any of that extra like it's not even called drama it's like if you guys don't agree on something fam we have to talk about it you can't just be like oh well because i don't want drama i'm just not gonna i'm just not gonna deal with it like what Everybody in your life is not gonna agree with everything that you got going on. That's not what your friends are there for. Relationships too. Like I heard, I remember this girl told me once, she was like, I would rather date somebody who is exactly like me so we don't have any issues. I'm like, girl, you nuts. You know how boring that relationship would be? No offense, but what? I don't want somebody just like me. I want some excitement, like, cause what the person might not be into, um, what they might be into, I might not be into, and we could try it out together. Like, who the heck wanna be in a relationship with the same goddamn person? Mm -mm, girl, wheel and come again. Um, but I was in, and this wasn't a recent relationship. This is an old relationship. I was in that relationship for about 
five, five years and legit after the first year we should have ended it because it turned um not good for both parties it was really abusive that's one and then um and just not physically it was verbally it was mentally it was just abusive all around that's not a space that anybody should be in i did i could just go like this i barely put anything on my face but um what was i saying oh yeah so a lot of people at the time were like shay why the like fam why are you still with this person like i just don't get it and for me you guys know it could probably stem from father issues i don't know because my dad wasn't there so when i find someone who takes care of me without me asking and actually without me needing it just does it right and um loves me to the point to where i thought was unconditional because if a person loves you unconditional they're not going to do certain things to you so obviously i was wrong on that sense but that's why i held on i held on and it's a lot of times when you just are not confident and comfortable in yourself you allow a lot of bullshit to happen and that's why I am so thankful for this move because it like really and truly really and truly has like helped me figure out what I want and what I need in my life and I real like I realized the drama though it might be exciting to some is not exciting to me fam like is not is not something that i feel that i need in my life i've had it long enough i'm over the drama so that means if i meet someone right now and it could be a friend it could be a romantic partner whatever it is and i feel like you're just full of drama immediately i cut you off also i feel like if I am putting it, put forth work, like I'm reaching out all the time and I'm doing this and I'm doing that, then I'm just like, nah, kid, I'm good. Sometimes I think is me. And then I realize, yes, it is me because I allowed things to happen in my life because I just didn't want to be alone, right? I just did not want to be alone. So I just allowed bullshit. And now I just don't care for it. Like, I just don't have the patience. Like, I'm just so quick to spaz on somebody. Not like, not spaz like that, but just be like, nah fam, you're good. Like, save that for somebody else. I ain't got time for it. A person probably could just be having a bad day, but my trigger is so high that I'm just like, nah, I don't care. I guess that happens. Why is one eye browner than the next? Yeah, so. I've been in Dallas for about a month and so far I mean the trans the transit system isn't as bad as people made it out to be pretty dope um that's what I take to go to work that's why I take primarily to get around 
if I don't want to spend money on Uber, which until I get a car, this is the hand that I am dealt and I just have to deal with it. Um, I haven't gone to any events yet, which is a major goal. Um, but me and my friend are supposed to sit down and just like uh, write down because me and them, that's our goal for 2019 to get more involved in events and put our faces out more. So we're going to sit down and figure that out for the year 2019 and just like schedule everything out because I'm trying to go to at least three to four events a week. I know I'm going to be tired, but let me just tell you something. I have a goal and the goal is not to be working for nobody anymore. So I can't work for people. I can't uh, pursue what I'm trying to do and not step out on faith. You feel me? So um, I have to start believing in myself. Um, yeah. So I haven't gone to any events yet. I have tried some food here. Um, only because I did Uber Eats for a long time. I tried this um, pizza spot. I'm, oh, I tried Whataburger. I like their chicken tenders. I tried Jack in, the, Jack in the Box, girl. Jack in the Box? Like, she is the truth. That value menu, though. Them curly fries, though. Taco Bueno is disrespectful. How the hell you have Bueno in the name, which means good in Spanish. I'm Hispanic, don't come for me. And the tacos are nasty as dirt. I tried Fuel City Tacos. Girl. Girl. I tried Torchy's Tacos. That was okay. I guess what I ordered wasn't but I'll give them another shot. I'll go try them again. I try Velvet Tacos. Velvet Tacos is bomb. But Velvet Tacos, y'all can stay there with them prices, fam. Stay there. For one taco is $4.50. And a cup of corn together is $10. And all I got is a cup of corn and a taco. Also, the supermarkets that I've tried is Tom Thumbs and kroger my mom shops at aldi's i haven't been there yet um they don't have none of the supermarkets that i know in new york like sea town and stuff like that they don't have none of that stuff oh i tried um slim chickens their chicken wings girl bomb um yeah, so, so far, I mean, Dallas has met me with uh, some interesting people, I can say the least. My coworkers, ooh, I love them to death. Uh, they're so funny. Um, my boss is hilarious. Sometimes she get on my nerves, but that's what bosses do. That's fine. She's still cool peoples. Well, you know when they're cool peoples at heart, when they get on your nerves a little bit, it's easy for you to get over it, right? Um... So I met Ivory on Bumble. I met Shells, Shelly on Bumble. Um, there's this group called Dallas Connect. I went to one of their events. If you're in the Dallas area, you ever want to like look at events and stuff. Uh, Dallas Connect um, is like for black young professionals. Um, that's pretty dope. Um, let me just tell y'all something. North Park Center Mall, because they bougie. Which is fine because they got like in between us stuff. I think they got a Forever 21. I think, but they got Louis and Gucci and Valentino and da da da. But they got an AMC girl and they got a food. Their food court is lacking. They need to step their food court game up, but it's fine. Um, and that's all I've really done. Like, I was called Stir Twice. I went there for brunch, and I went there for happy hour. Um, I think I also went to a place called Hattie's in Deep Ellum. Deep Ellum, girl. Deep Ellum got mad food. And I love foodie. Shit. 
that's why I be so consistent with the gym because all I eat and I'm bound to do the workouts gotta <laughs> the walk the workouts and the water intake boo um have I gone on any dates I went on one date nobody likes me bro nobody likes me bro I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl um don't forget to go on my website essenceofshade.com buy some products they're really really good and i'm back in effect so i'm sorry for any delays i'm sorry for any refunds because i couldn't push out the products but your girl is back hunty yes and don't forget to also follow me on instagram y'all because my instagram page is like struggling like i'm growing here but my instagram is just like struggle mode i don't know what the hell is going on over there but go over there if you haven't already and follow me over there um essence of shea on all social media platforms all right y'all i love y'all so much for watching and i will see you later tiger lilies get ready for vlogmas Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.